Hey guys, before we get going, we're going to talk about SBE, Switchback Energy, today. But just a quick reminder, there's five days left for the November special to join our Discord server where you can lock in a low monthly price for the end of time. So link is in the description below. Make sure you get in there. We have a lot of good, knowledgeable, friendly people in the Discord server. It doesn't matter if you're a complete beginner or a super experienced trader. Everybody is welcome and let's all make money together. Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back with another daily video and let's take a look at another meme stock, another hype stock that I came across and that is Switchback Energy, ticker symbol SBE. If you peruse certain Reddit forums or are on certain websites, you can see there's been a lot of buzz about this ticker symbol. So let's take a look at it because I don't know what this company is either. If you missed my video from yesterday, you know I took a look at F-Cell Fuel Cell Energies, which was another stock that I came across that was really big on the interwebs and I had no idea what that company was or what they did. So same thing with SBE, decided to look into it and lo and behold, it is yet another kind of electricity EV company. It just feels right now that this is like 2018 where we were in that MJ stock bubble, where MJ stocks were just going through the roof. It seems like right now, instead of MJ, the market is pumping EV stocks. So anything, if you're a manufacturer of EV cars or have anything related to fuel cells or electric energy, it seems like you are all in a big bubble right now. And who knows when it's gonna pop because we'll take a look at the technical analysis graph on SBE at the end of the video. And it looks nearly identical to the graph I showed you yesterday on F-Cell. So let's get right into it. I'm on their website, which is switchback-energy.com. So it says, charge point to become a public company, advancing EV charging networks reach across North America and Europe. So basically it sounds like they're not manufacturing EV cars. They're the ones that are gonna supply the EV cars with electricity to charge them up. Interesting. So I guess this again falls under this EV car bubble. Let's see what they have. Let's go to the about page about us. Let's see what they're all about. Blah, 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 blah. I will say their website is rather basic. I mean, take a look. There's just a blank white background, some text. I really don't care about reading through this, but let's say uh, NGP's founding. What is NGP? NGP energy capital management. I don't really want to read through any of this legal mumbo jumbo. I don't care. Let's go to investor presentations. All right, let's see what they got. Oh, analyst day, November 17th. All right, let's click on that. And of course, it's not a website. It's going to open up to a PDF. Great job. All right. The electric revolution is here. Our obsession, making it easy. All right, let's 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 see how you make it easy. All right, analyst meeting, blah, 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 blah. How many slides are this? There's 58 slides. No, thank you. Let's see. Vision. Move all people and goods on electric power. Investment opportunity. The index for the electrification of mobility. Okay, whatever. I don't even know what that means. Let's see. All right. Illness impact had a little bit of a dip. Their passenger EV sales says they're up 10% year over year. So basically they're saying, all right, this is where we are 2019. This is where we are 2020. And for some odd reason for the next six years, they're just going to say, we're going to take off to the moon. So, uh, yeah, you should invest in us. Okay, you're just pulling numbers out of a hat. That sounds legit. Okay, let's see. The trend, the electrification of mobility is undisputed. Uh, I don't know about that. With consumers and fleets adopting at record rates. Okay, whatever. The market, our addressable market is massive. Okay, every place vehicles park in North America and Europe. Okay, so you're basically, your whole market is to basically two entire continents. Okay, all right, whatever. A little, bit, uh, a little bit aggressive there. I think you might be overestimating, but okay. The product, we sell charging software, stations, and services. Okay, I believe Tesla does that. Do they not for their own vehicles? But we'll work with it. Software attached equals 100%. We do not monetize energy or driver utilization. So how do you make money? Let's see, the business model. Selling to businesses makes for capital light growth. We expect significant revenue and margin expansion ahead. I don't know what that means. I feel like you should be able to tell me how you make money in a sentence or two. EVs are projected to be 
9.9% of new vehicles sold in 2025 and 29% in 2030 in the US and Europe. Okay, so basically you're just estimating on facts and data that you've been fed. I don't know. This is just seems a whole bunch of uh, advertisement mumbo jumbo and everything just seems like they're just estimating things based on data and facts that obviously are going to make their companies look better. So anyway, I don't really want to dig through 58 slides of this basically analyst advertisement. Let's go to the stock graph and take a look at their Robinhood graph. First of all, let's see how they're doing today. Not so hot, down 6% today. Let's see how they're doing for the past week. Okay, not bad, up and to the right. Past month, okay, we're going a little parabolic there, all right. Past three months, all right, flat, really took off to the moon once we uh, started blowing up this bubble, okay. Last five years, all right, has been traded that long, so I guess just started trading in 2019. So let's look at the one year graph. So basically did a whole lot of nothing all year long. Then in September of this year, picked up some activity. And then as of November, just went to the moon. All right, let's take a look at the trading view graph, see what we're working with here. So here is the graph on SBE, switchback energy. Let's zoom out here. All right, the first thing I notice, okay, take a look at this graph. This is switchback energy. You can see the top left corner. I'm gonna show you the graph for F cell, which I reviewed yesterday, okay, here we go. Doesn't it look nearly identical? Let me take off some of this technical analysis that we did yesterday. And this graph looks, look at this. I'll switch back and forth. Here's SBE. Here's F cell. SBE, F cell. They're like identical. I mean, let me zoom in here. F cell took off to the moon basically starting November 13th to November 16th. SBE took off to the moon November 16th. So basically at the same time is when the whole market decided, you know what, if you have a company that has anything to do with EV vehicles or electric energy, we're gonna take you to the moon. And that's exactly what they're doing. And I could do the same technical analysis on this as I did with F cell, because if I zoom out here, we're just setting all time highs week by week ever since September 16th of this year, because it was doing a whole lot of nothing before then. If I did some TA, I basically just draw a line something like this. And actually the other interesting thing is today traded similar to F cell did because we had a trend line that looked something along the lines of this, let's say, just as a rough estimate. And you can see we had a big green candle pulled back. And today we actually were up another 15%. SBE, big green candle, had a pullback, had some trading intraday between about $33 and $36, but we are closing down 6%. So green day, red day, and then unfortunately for SBE, had a relatively red day today. However, F cell did rebound from yesterday and have a green day. But let's go back to SBE. Again, take a look at this RSI curve, just like F cell, super overbought, very far away from the orange line, which is the 21 day moving average, and the pink line, which is the 50 day moving average. I would expect a pullback at some point. And honestly, across the board, whether you're talking about Neo or Nikola or even Tesla at this point, let's just take a quick peek at Tesla because Tesla is just going crazy right now. Look at these green candles day after day. Tesla's like up 3% today because it got added to the S&P 500 a few days ago. It's not added yet, but it was announced that it will be added in December. But look at this, Tesla's also overbought on the RSI curve. So no matter what you're looking at, SBE, F-Cell, NEO, Nikola, Tesla, Xpeng, Lee Motors, you know, just make a list of every single EV company and EV stock out there. In my opinion, it is just one massive bubble. And if you're in any of these positions, if it was me, I would wanna get out, lock in my profits, and don't worry about leaving some profits on the table because nobody went broke taking profits because it's just a matter of time before this bubble pops, in my opinion. And I don't know about you, but if I got in in the 20s or 30s, let's say on SBE, I don't wanna be holding shares when the bubble pops back down to like $10 a share. So that's really my uh, deep dive, if you wanna call it that, into SBE. It's really uh, interesting stock, but you know, I'm kinda of making fun of them because it doesn't really seem like they're doing anything that's really revolutionary or that's gonna separate them from other companies that can or will do the same thing in the industry. 
Let me know if you disagree. Let me know if you already knew about SBE or if you have options or shares of SBE and what your plan is. I'm always curious to hear what other people are doing and how they're trading. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and happy trading.